Hi. Welcome to Doc Talk. On this channel, we talk about a lot of different things. Um, the thoughts that can go through somebody's mind when they become worried about their physical body, the changes that they experience, pain, feeling sick, not feeling quite yourself can be very scary. And we here at Doc Talk, we want to help alleviate some of the nervousness and some of the fear that can often become consuming in our lives. Um, if you're anything like me, you don't like to go to the doctor and would give anything to avoid going there. Nowadays it costs a lot of money. Even if you have health care, it costs a lot of money. There's a lot of issues dealing with doctors. Who's the right doctor to choose? Is he a good doctor? How does he deal with his patients? Is he a corporate man or does he care about the individual? What kind of person is he? What kind of person is his staff? Hospital doctors are different than doctors who have their own private practice. Choosing a family doctor is very important to do, especially today where we have so many specialized doctors, specialty medicines, where you go see your family doctor, your family here, he takes care of everybody in your family. And if you get something wrong with your heart, he sends you to the heart doctor. If you got something wrong with your lungs, he sends you to the pulmonary doctor. Um, eyes, eye doctor, etc. Many different aspects. But the family doctor is one of your most important doctors. Your general practitioner. Your, your main doc. Um, he should be a physical medicines doctor. Um, that's been my experience anyways. Like I said, money is becoming a big concern. I've heard more and more with the things that's going on that more and more doctors are switching to a cash pay basis. Especially the good doctors. The doctors who will listen to you and who won't take orders from an insurance company or from the government are switching to a cash pay base only. You'll still get your prescriptions through your uh, insurance. You can send in your receipt to your insurance to try to get some of the money back. But good luck there. It is possible that they will give you some of it back or put it towards your premium. But it's more than likely they will not do it without a big fight. So many things to consider when dealing with doctors. We got pediatricians, OBGYNs, eye doctors, ear, nose, throat specialists, so many things. So many different medications we have nowadays. My rule with my family is and always will be the medications that have stood the test of time will be the ones that my family will take. I do not want to take some of these new medications that has a allergy list as long as your arm. There is very good medications out there that have been 
out there for a long time and they all have generic equivalents and they have stood the test of time. The ones that are bad have been removed from the market. But medication is, is a big deal. If you are sick or having to deal with any kind of disease or injury, medication is, for some people, they can't live without it. It is a must. To be able to go to the doctor who will give you the medication that you need, that you know that helps you the best, is very important. Because you know what helps you better than anyone else. You know better than the doctor knows. A lot of times the doctors want to think that they know more than you do about your body. But that's not the case in most circumstances. There are some circumstances where you've got to listen to the doctor and listen to what he says and do what he says even though it doesn't make any sense. They know what they're talking about on some things. Medications, administrations, your schedules, all that. Things to consider. How many times a day do you have to take them? If you can take a long-acting one or a short-acting one, you know, so many things to consider. So very many things to consider nowadays. Doctors are dealing with a lot now a lot of restrictions that's why a lot of them are moving to cash so they can continue to help their patients the way they need to but anyway that's what we're going to talk about some things here on doc talk uh, I just wanted to uh, let everybody know what we're about ask questions we'll get into several several different topics, diseases, things you can do before you've got to go to the doctor and ways that may help you and ways that you can communicate with your doctor to get you what you need because he does work for you. He does work for you and there are a lot of different doctors out there. But until next time, this is Doc Talk. Hope everyone has a great night. We'll talk to you later.